Hello and welcome to the Midnight Dolls photo competition. So I was hoping for five entries and I got six, so that's great. I'm so excited to do this video, so let's get straight into it. So this first entry is from AG Records and there is a lot that I love about this photo. So I love the trees, I love the doll's outfit and I love the house in the background. I just think it's so aesthetically pleasing. And I also like the framing of the trees. So the trees kind of framed the photo and I think that's just such a nice use of the trees and it's absolutely awesome. The only thing that I would change is that the doll is looking at the camera. But other than that, I absolutely love this photo. So great job. And this awesome photo is from Friday the 13th AG. So I love the crocheted top and it's kind of one of the main focuses of the picture. And I absolutely love that because I knit myself and I just think that homemade clothes look really cool. So I absolutely love that. And I love the blurred background and I just love that it's like outside and the lighting is really good. And I just think that works really well with this photo. The only thing that I would change is that the doll's hair has a few flyaways. And I know this is quite difficult to get under control, especially when you're doing a photo outside. And that's the only thing I would change. So if you could perfect that, then great, but well done. This photo is from Dolls in Motion. And I love the animals in this photo. So it was probably in like a, either a pet shop or if it was a like a daycare kind of thing or if it's just someone who has loads of pets. And I think that really comes across. So the animals are definitely the main focus of the photo and I love that. And especially trying to balance the ferret on the arm and the fishbowl as well. That must have been really difficult. So good job on that. And I can tell you put loads of effort into this photo because it's just, yeah, it, I can tell. And I, the only thing I would change was I would do the lighting from the side rather than from the top because it makes a few shadows on her face especially. And that's a little bit difficult to do, but that's something I would change. But great job, well done. AG Peanut Productions sent in this photo, and I think it works really well. So all the flowers in it, so there's a flower that the doll is like smelling, there's the flower in the doll's hair, and the flower in the dress that I really love because it kind of ties it all together. And I just think it makes the photo really fluent and it really works. And you've managed to get like an expression on the doll's face, like she's smelling it and it just smells really nice. And I think that's really difficult, especially in dolls to get, but I think that worked really well. And I love how the face is actually in a shadow, but it's still light because of the reflection on the um, flower. So I just think it, it just works really well. One thing I would change is there are a few, not many, but there are a few flyaways in the doll's hair. So if you get that sorted, then <laughs> and this photo is from butterfly og dolls so i love the fact that the doll and the dog are going for a dog walk and i think that really comes across in the photo i also like how the doll and the dog are both looking at the camera and i just think that really works the only thing i would improve on would maybe blur the background a bit more or take the photo closer to the doll because i think the background is almost coming one of the main focuses of the picture and you don't want that, you want it in the doll. So if you maybe made the background a little bit more simple then like by blurring it or just focusing on the doll a bit more, then I think it would just make it a better photo. But it is a great photo. Now we have American Girl Bliss and I love the dress in this photo. I think it just stands out and I think the doll looks really pretty in this dress. I think it looks really cool. And the necklace as well and that they're standing on a rock and I just think it's, it works really well in this photo. The only thing I would change is maybe if the blur in the background was maybe a little bit more subtle. I think it's a little bit too much and maybe it takes away from the doll itself but I think it's really good. And now it's Dancing Dolly's Productions. And I absolutely love this photo. Just, I just love the leaves and the trees and this, the dress. And it's just really <laughs> nice. So, um, I think it really works. And I also like the hairstyle because I think it's Dutch plaits. And my, I myself love doing Dutch plaits and I think they look really good. 
so I do like Dutch pats. <laughs> And I don't really think I have any improvements. This is a great photo and yeah, well done. And the last entry is from BC's Doll Place. I love how you used a sofa in the background to make this kind of patterned lovely background and I think it really works in this photo. It's very colorful and I love the idea of using the sofa. I also love how colorful the doll's top is. It's very vibrant and it also goes with the background as well. The doll looks like she's enjoying the pizza very much, so I think that works really well in this photo. The only thing I would change is maybe if you change the ratio in this photo. So at the moment it's in 69, so it's 16 across, 9 up, but I think it might suit it better if it was 4-3. So I just think maybe there's a little bit too much of the sofa in it, and if it just focused on the doll, then I think this would work really well in the photo. But great job, BC's Doll Place. So well done AG Records, I absolutely loved your photo. Nobody is eliminated this week because it is the first round and next round it is going to be something patriotic. So for example, I would do something to do with the coronation but you could do something for the 4th of July, you could do something, I don't know, just something to represent your country. So it could be your dolls wearing the colours of your um, flag, could be the doll colouring in the flag, it could be anything you like. And photos are due Monday the 22nd of May. See you then!